560, The Answer. With the power of Tandem HR, you are in the fast lane on Main Street with Get Down to Business with Shalom Klein, the show for business and jobs. Now, the champion of networking, the advocate of jobs, the guru of business, your host, Shalom Klein. We are all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. And business, we talk a lot about business here. You are on with Get Down to Business, and I'm your host, Shalom Klein. Remember, you can always download podcasts from Get Down to Business on my website at ShalomKlein.com. And while you are there, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Shalom Klein. It's going to be a jam-packed week of content and information you will not want to miss. It's a live show. You could call us at 312 312- 642 5600 312-642-5600. We are powered by our good friends at Tandem HR, your solution center. Give them a call, 630-928-0510, 630-928-0510, or check out their blog for so many resources and information, tandemhr.com. So I'm thrilled to be joined in studio by my friend Rob Moore, who is the VP of Sales and Operations at Jaffa Salads, and uh, Rob, it's so awesome to have you here. I feel like I feel like I, I in, we spend almost every weekend together. But it's not you and I spending time together. It's your food. Thank you, Shalom. Thanks for having me. Uh, very excited to be in studio with you tonight. So uh, we're going to talk hummus. We're going to talk guacamole. You know, maybe talk baseball. Who knows? Hey, that's fun. That's great. And uh, you know, it, it's hard to give out free samples here on the uh, over the air, but uh, but at the end of the program, we'll make sure that people know where they could find your products in stores. So that's uh, perhaps a a distant second. Um, but Rob, you you come from a family that can appreciate food. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background and, and where the idea for Jaffa Salads came about. So we are a new company. We launched in March of 2016. Um, you may have heard of my family's grocery store business, Garden Fresh Market. And uh, really the idea came to my father, Adi Moore, about last, I'd say last fall, when he was thinking, you know what, maybe we should take some of the salads that we're selling in the grocery store, turn it into a brand and launch a new business. So I was actually working in Los Angeles doing TV production and decided to move my wife to start a new business with my family. And so far, we're carried in 200 retail locations in Chicago and Wisconsin, and uh, everybody's been really, really enjoying our recipes. And let's talk about the product. So uh, guacamole is is a, uh, is a very popular in, yes. in our house. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the other items. So we do... Um, Five Hispanic items. We do like a fresh guacamole, fresh pico de gallo that we make every day. We also have three salsas that are very hot and very authentic. Um, And then we do traditional hummus. And what sets us apart from, let's say, Sabra is that we're using an imported tahini from Jerusalem. And tahini, if you're a hummus not like me, you know that that's like the main flavor profile of hummus. It's the ground sesame. So we actually have a truckload of tahini that we imported and it goes into every batch of our hummus. We have four different flavors of hummus. Okay, so four different flavors. Tell us about them. And and are there, is there anything to look forward to over the coming months and years? Yes. Yeah, so we have like our hummus original um, recipe. Basically, I've grown up going to Israel every year since I was a little kid. Um, the name Jaffa is actually based after Jaffa right outside of Tel Aviv, which is one of the oldest ports in the Mediterranean. And it's known for having just beautifully smooth hummus and salads. Um, So we have like our hummus original, then we have hummus with paprika and oil, hummus with red salsa, which is actually garnished with like something called Moroccan matbucha, which is plum tomatoes, jalapeno, garlic, paprika, really, really delicious. And then we have hummus with green salsa, which is again, our hummus original, but it's garnished differently. So what we're trying to do is take one beautiful recipe of hummus and then garnish it different ways. It's fantastic. And again, we'll make sure that our listeners can uh, learn where they can find the product. But Rob, you are in an interesting business. You're, you're, you're creating a fantastic product um, that uh, I'm curious, how long is the shelf life uh, for some of your items? So, so perishable products are definitely tricky, um, especially if you're trying to do fresh like farm to table products like we're doing. Um, our guacamole has a 30 day shelf life, which is actually really long for a fresh product, but we have this packaging system where we use like a nitrogen flush and that displaces the oxygen in the package. So then when you put the vacuum seal on there, you have no oxygen turning your guacamole brown, which I'm sure listeners have, have, you know, 
had problems with in the past when they make guacamole at home. And they're like, wow, it's bad after a day or something. You spent time in California and in, in the uh, in in first of all nicer weather, but um, but in a very very different culture and in a very very different work environment. Now you're out there uh, marketing hummus and marketing guacamole and a very good hummus and a very good guacamole. How different is 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 the business world and on the West Coast versus the Midwest? And how what lessons were you able to learn from your previous career? to what you're doing right now? It's a great question. I was I was a producer in LA. Um, I worked on TV shows. I worked on web series, branded content, commercials. Um, really, running a business is a collaboration, and managing people is challenging, no matter if it's making a piece of content, video content, or making hummus. <laughs> but what I've learned is that the more of a team effort you can make it, and the more you can involve involve your employees and make them claim ownership of what they're making, the the better the final product will be. So a big thing, you know, while I was working in TV production, I'd hire editors, I'd hire, you know, directors and, and uh, DPs and set dressers and everybody, even to the actors. And you have to give them ownership of the content that you guys are creating together. And when you create that environment, whether it's with salads or videos, that's you know, that's a beautiful collaboration. Is there anything that you wish you knew uh, when when getting started, again, with with your dad with in, in business and at Jaffa Salads, you wish you knew then that you know now about running a business and, and managing people? Well, I think, and I, I've listened to, you know, entrepreneur podcasts, and um, they, they always talk about, you know, failure is part of the growing process. And I think, Kind of if I had known, you know, six years ago when I first moved to L.A. that like failure is part of growth and part of uh, of uh, becoming successful, then maybe all the, the certain blows as I stepped, you know, up the ladder would have not hurt so much. It would have just been like, oh, that's part of growing as a, as a young man, as a, as a young entrepreneur, filmmaker, whatever. And it's the same thing with building Jaffa. I mean, we have challenges every day, but, you know, you try and take two steps forward even though there might be one step back that day, you just want to be moving in, in the right direction. So I guess uh, to answer your question, just accepting failure as part of the path to success. Absolutely. And that's, uh, that's an important lesson. And, uh, and, and what can our listeners look forward to in the future from Jaffa Salads, um, either in locations or in new products? So we're constantly developing new products. We have uh, a new salsa that we're, we're bringing to market soon called Salsa de Mocajete. And if you know salsas, it's a very authentic uh, recipe. Then we're also going to be doing like a couscous salad. We're going to be doing a fresh beet salad. We're going to get into, uh, we're, we're breaking out all of our, our salads basically. And, and these could be anything from Moroccan carrots to spicy cauliflower, spicy chickpeas. Some, some things that you might not be used to seeing on the shelf, you'll see under the Jaffa Salads brand. And with folks uh, trying to be health conscious, is there anything that you want them to know that our listeners uh, leading a professional working life uh, coming into the office that might otherwise be uh, popping open a, uh, a, a can of Pringles that maybe they should know about the salads, uh, perhaps in the interest of being health conscious? Definitely. We're, I mean, we take fresh produce that my dad buys from the market every morning and we turn it into our salsas and our salads. So you're you're really you're getting you know fresh tomatillo, fresh poblano peppers, uh, garlic. We we actually buy dried chickpeas, soak them overnight, do a three hour boil. I mean, it's you're you're not getting any fillers when you're eating our quite products. literally from Rob's backyard and uh, <laughs> and into your kitchen uh, or into your at your desk perhaps uh, for for some of our listeners. So that's exciting, uh, Rob. Your products are all over. Um, you're you're even in a place called Piggly Wiggly. I yes. understand. That's funny name. Hey, it's it's fun. Why not? Um, how can our listeners find out more about Jaffa Salads? Perhaps find ways uh, to bring the products into their stores, um, or certainly get a taste of of many of your delicious items. Definitely visit our website. It's www.jaffasalads.com. Don't forget the S at the end of salads, and you'll see a locations tab there, and you can see all the stores that we're currently located in. And you can also find my contact information if you're interested in carrying our product line. So jaffasalads.com. 
That's fantastic. And in terms of careers, I understand that you're you're always looking for uh, drivers. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, wh- who you're looking for. Well, we realized, so we were working with a big distributor who gave us a shot, and, and uh, they, they helped us grow. And then we kind of realized with a perishable product, it's better if we do direct store deliveries, which basically means we have a sales rep on the road delivering product fresh. Um, so we are currently looking for another sales representative slash driver, and that would be someone who would be working with all of our DSD customers and helping uh, service the Chicagoland area. Fantastic. Rob Moore of Jaffa Salads. You can learn more about the uh, delicious products, jaffasalads.com. Uh, lots more uh, coming up after the break, but uh, Rob, I'll look forward to uh We'll catching up some more with you about these products and uh, hopefully uh, celebrating another uh, Cubs win next year. Go what Cubbies. Do you say? Go yeah. Cubbies. There we go. Rob Moore of Jaffa Sales. Thanks for joining us here in the studio. Coming up after the break, we're going to talk some more small business jobs and entrepreneurship. You don't want to miss it. Chicago, don't touch that dial. How can- 